I ain't gonna lie, man. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get my 2021 Z06. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Stunner Reese and I'm back with another video, man. And today, we gonna talk about some different things that's coming up, man, in the car world, man. And your boy Stunner Reese gonna let y'all know if I am still getting my C8 Corvette Z06. Y'all stay tuned for the whole video. If you're here for the first time, make sure you subscribe to my channel and definitely turn on the post notifications, man, so you don't miss a video. All right, let's get to it. Yeah. Squizzy, man. Are we focused or are we not, man? I think we crispy and clear right now. All right, man. But yeah, man, we about to get into this video, guys. Definitely, man, if you're here for the first time, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I am giving away that custom, and it's not focused in real good right now, but that custom press right outside, man, wrap gold rims. When I get to 100K, I'm also giving away... 500 in cash when I get to 50k and I'm also giving away a prize every thousand subscribers guys so at 36k 37k so on and so on and so on every thousand I'm gonna be giving away a prize man but y'all definitely need to share these videos on Facebook so we can get it cracking man because uh, that'll let more people know about the channel. But guys, what are we talking about today, man? We are going to talk about some cars that is coming out. And guys, man, I know a lot of y'all are amazed at what's going on with the whole auto industry right now. Because, man, it's ugly. Guys, all the manufacturers have shut down their plants. They're not producing any more cars right now. Now, GM reported that they were going to make 200,000 of the C8 Corvettes, the Stingray model, for 2020. And they only ended up making 40,000. That's right. The run got shut down because of this whole... The Rona, yeah, definitely put a whole dampener on producing all the cars. So, it's not just Chevy. It's all the manufacturers, man. Everybody had to cease their production until we get this whole situation under control but man i just want to talk about some of the cars that were on the rise of about to drop man first and foremost we was about to get one of my favorites that i was looking forward to getting which was the hellcat durango yeah many many people said that the hellcat durango was on the way and i was definitely excited to see that that truck was coming because that is something that i really really wanted to see i maybe 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 man in the future might wanted to get one of those because y'all all know i love the durango body style it has always been one of my favorite suv body style yeah but with everything going on we just never know what we gonna get or what we not gonna get so yeah but yeah that was one i was definitely waiting to see now another vehicle that i was really anticipating on seeing was the new tesla cybertruck y'all know i had been talking about that forever yeah that tesla cybertruck was going to definitely be a beast now i'm not saying that they're not making any of these cars that i'm mentioning right now guys i'm just saying that i think they were going to be coming a lot sooner but due to the halt in the production of every manufacturer you know it is what it is now another one that i'm super anticipating on seeing is the dodge ram trx that is the ram pickup with the Hellcat motor that's supposed to compete against the Ford Raptor. That thing was going to knock heads off when it comes to the fast pickup circle. 
I don't know if uh, the Raptor would have had nothing for that, man. I was definitely waiting to see what that thing was really going to do. I think it was definitely going to do good numbers, man. Another vehicle that I couldn't wait to see was that new Genesis SUV. That thing looked like it is about to smoke the earth when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, luxury. Definitely up there high line with some of the best, like Lexus, Mercedes, I mean, Infinity, uh, even, you know, looked like it was knocking on the door, like some of the Bentleys and Audis and Porsches. I mean, it looked that nice. The only thing is that it didn't come in a V8. I think it was a V6 or a diesel, but as far as looks, exterior, interior, oh, crazy. Now, this one might single-handedly be the one that I really wanted to see, man, more than all of the ones that I just mentioned. And that is if Dodge is going to really make the Dodge Cuda to replace the Dodge Challenger. That one, man, I already know. Dodge is not finna play with y'all. Dodge is not finna let Chevy or Ford steal they thunder because Dodge definitely been holding it down the whole muscle car community very well for a whole long time. And I think that, man, that Cuda, if they really, really decide to drop that car, man, uh, you just know, man, they gonna come crazy power crazy just looks i think they're gonna make the car lighter better chassis handle better everything you know and i think it's gonna probably take power adders really well i just man i just got a feeling dodge is not finna play no games with y'all none 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 they ain't finna have it yeah so i don't know man i don't know what everything that's going on in the world with this whole epidemic, pandemic that's going on. We never know what we gonna get. We don't know what we not getting. We just, man, we just gotta, you know, be patient, man. If you guys uh, put in orders for the C8 Corvette Stingray for 2020, if you ain't got it, if it ain't built, you ain't getting it, man. It's as simple as that. Now, what does that leave? me at because y'all all know that i put in a order for a 2021 c8 corvette z06 and i ain't gonna lie man i don't think i'm gonna be able to get my 2021 z06 the reason I don't think I'm going to be able to get my 2021 Z06 is because I don't think they're going to make the 2021 Z06. I think it's going to be a 2022 model if it comes out in 2022 because it could be end up being a 2023 model. And that would be a shame for real, for real. You know, with them shutting down the whole 2020s um, and only putting out 40,000, a run of 200,000. We just don't know, man, how many of those back orders that people order cars that they're going to have to fulfill to try to get caught up for the 2021 year. You just never know, you know, what's going to really happen with everything. And then you never know how crazy GM is going to try to go with the pricing of the Z06 now because of the simple fact that they've probably lost a lot of money which having shut down the 22 model year. So, man, all I can say, man, is I just hope that Jim, y'all hear me out, man. Make sure y'all don't overprice the car, man, just because of this whole situation, all right? But yeah, man, I've been uh, doing some research on the Z06, guys, and I'm gonna drop some pictures, I'm gonna drop some videos, and uh, just let you guys check out some of the stuff that I've been finding. The Z06 is definitely on the way. When and how much is just really the question. Just hopefully it's not too much. Hopefully it's not too much, man. Hopefully we can all get one if it is in your price range and we can enjoy the car without it being a big, huge price gouge. Now, drop it in the comments and let me know what y'all think, man, about the Z06. 
Hopefully your boy Stunner Reese gonna still be able to rock it out, man. But till next time, just like that, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you drop a comment. Make sure you turn on the post notifications so you don't miss a video. All right? But just like that, I am out of here. Peace, and I'm out. Later.